pussycat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch me, pussycat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good morning, Cat here. Miss you, Chunky. Well, it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday. It's the December 21st. Um, not sure on the time. I know it's before 10 o'clock. Um, I'm packing up, picking up camp. I'm controlling with my phone. I'm going to go down to Ehrenberg to the Nomadness Gathering. Check it out. I've never been to camped at a gathering like that um, meeting someone they're gonna I'm gonna follow them down because they've been before um, so I'm loading up camp so I won't have Chunky's help this time so I'm doing it all by myself so uh, kind of give you a gander of what I'm doing and see how it goes wish me luck So far, I've got the locks off the gas, locks off the generator. I don't have my Blue Boy yet. It should be coming in in the next couple days. I had to order the new Blue Boy. Um, so I've got to get slide in, gas put up, generator put in on this side. So. sure where I am in the camera. Got the generator up inside. Um, 
All the stabilizer jacks are up, the slide's in, it was slow going, but it, it went in. So now I just got to raise the trailer, hook it up. Oh, turn the propane off. All right, so I have to make notes for myself ever since the um, brain injury. I'm gonna stop this so that I can start it again. Okay, alrighty, so I have to make myself a list, notes, and thanks to Chunky sitting down with me um, when he knew that he was going to stay and I was going to come back by myself. So I have to go through these, this checklist. Um, I'm sure the more I do it, you know, things will come easier. But for now, I have to definitely check my list. Okay, as you saw, I got the generator inside, my bike's inside, the ladder's inside. They were up here and the generator was out back. My blue boy, I would normally pick it up and either put it in the truck or put it in the rig, but it should be on its way this week, I think. Um, I won't need it out there at uh, the No Madness Gathering in Ehrenberg. I'll just dump when I come back. Um, so I did the slide and as I said, it was slow going. I don't know if it's because the batteries, because it's cloudy, so it's not really a charging day. And I, maybe I should have done it in a different order. I went ahead and took the solar panels off, or I could have turned the generator on and had the tender on it when I did it, but I'll see how it goes. It came in like it was supposed to. It was just really, really sluggish and slow to begin with. Um, so my slide is in. Uh, you saw me take the stabilizers up and I put the blocks away. Um, gray and black tank are closed and the cap is on, of course. Water pump is off. Um, power cord is put in its little cubby hole in the side. I never put the antenna up. The awning is in and locked. Okay, I just double check that just to make sure. I need to add closing the stove vent. Because I don't want that flapping when I'm going down the road. Um, awning in, locked, blue boy put up, don't have. Steps it, will go in when I shut the door and lock it. Cargo doors, I've uh, locked both sides, I believe. Solar's off and packed up. Battery covers, I still gotta strap down, put the covers on the batteries. Um, the extra batteries are inside. Propane is off and the refrigerator is off inside. Truck, pull up, fill up gas. Gotta check my lights. Uh, spring bars, chains, crossed, sway control. So that'll be what I do next. But I have to do this, like I said, because um, the more I do it, the rope, of it, I guess that's the right term. Um, the repeat of doing it, um, of course, makes it stick. But even still, with the way this brain injury works, the TMI, or B, tra TBI, traumatic brain injury, my memories um, are still up here, but recalling them in a timely manner, like in now, emergency if I need it, it's not always um, possible. So, but it looks like the battery's getting low, so I'm going to stop it and switch batteries, and then I'm going to do the, um, raise it up, hook the batteries up, and hook it to the truck. So, I'll be right with you.
right. Not sure if I'm in camera or not. Um, everything's hooked up. I don't look like I'm sinking as bad as I was when I first got here. So now I'm gonna go up front. I don't know if I have enough to mess with dumping the black tank, but I need to get some water. So off we go. Morning everyone, back. I've done some Go uh, GoPro. It is 1237. It's December 21st. Got a little breezy. Stop. Um, everything's all buttoned up. Trailer's attached. Everything. I survived. So now I'm going to head up front to get some water and see how this goes. Alrighty, I'll catch you in a little bit. Well, I just got my water done. That's the second time I've pulled up to do it, so I'm I'm fairly confident with doing it. Now I'm debating whether or not to go through and at least give it a run with the black tank. Well, I don't want to take out the water pump, but I didn't take out the water pump. I think somebody else is turning around, maybe? Looks like there's a line, so I'm gonna sit for a minute. Well, I successfully did the black and the gray tanks by pulling up to it. Woohoo! Ended up having to pull out the hammer and a screwdriver to loosen the handle because I couldn't get it to undo. And where the Valterra valve is, where the black and the gray valve plungers are. I don't think that tool that I ordered will be able to get in there anyways. So I'll be able to use it on the hoses themselves, but not, uh, I don't think I'll be able to 
use it to get up into the where the black the valves are. So now I'm gonna pull over and wait for my friend to show up because I'm following her down to Ehrenberg. So it's a cloudy day. I'm proud of myself for everything that I've accomplished this morning. I mean, it was one thing. Chunky helped me. All my stuff was thrown. I had stuff in the trailer. I'm gonna shut everything off. Um, had stuff in the trailer that uh, I wouldn't normally haul. Yes, the guys are back here. They're both in their little cubby beds there. They uh, I, they saw me moving stuff, so it makes them nervous. And then, of course, when the harnesses come out, they want no part of that. But, um, my hands are so dry. When I left to come out here from November 29th, or November 26th, I got here, Quartzite, LTVA, the 29th. When I left, Chunky did the final hookup, you know, plugged in everything, did all the... I was, I paid attention, but I didn't, you know, we've done it so many times, but he went ahead and did it. It was 29 degrees. Like I said, it was freezing. My locks were froze on the trailer. So, and they were freezing and Dustin and him were very sad and upset that I was leaving. So it was kind of, we're all trying to hide our emotions. Um, crack it just a little. Um, but, as I said, things were just thrown in. Chunky did all the, the hook in the trailer to the truck. And then, of course, I did what I always do. I, I tow. So, um, I, I am not afraid to tow. been towing since September, or July of... Yeah. July of 2019. The, f the first biggest trip, of course, was to here. In September of that year. September 3rd. But, um, so the towing it doesn't bother me. It makes me nervous going to someplace new that I've never been because, you know, I don't know what I'm going to encounter and I definitely don't want to get the truck or trailer stuck anywhere. Um, I'm assured that where I'm going is a good place like this. Not as rough, I guess, with the, the jagged rocks, but we shall see. But today was my, my test and then, of course, when I get where I'm going and setting everything back up, will be my whole final exam, I guess. Every time is going to be a little bit different because circumstances and where I'm camping and, you know, it's not always going to be a, a good ha a good hookup. Um, I'm blessed to have the good truck that I have because it has the um, backup camera on the tailgate. So I, I can, you know, back up to the trailer and then it's got like a close-up button so I can actually look right down on the trailer and the ball hitch and line it right up in there and in the video I took I just had to go back and forth just a little bit none of this drive up drive back drive up you know so I'm very proud of myself and and that's a good aid to have especially if you're by yourself because otherwise I would I would watch that to a certain point and then Chunky would wave me in or you know tell me to go back so um, proud of myself for, for that accomplishment my bun come down um, yeah so get down to where I'm going and then the second half of my so-called final exam uh, for the first time out I mean I got set up and Homer helped me unhook because my my hitch got bound up and it I was towing heavy and everything but this time it's all on me all by myself this first half I'm so tickled and proud of myself um, the generator as I said I got it up in there I can't just deadlift it and put it you know I'm not that strong so I just kind of heft it up the wheel end up put it on the step pick it up get up up close to it and I don't know if you could tell from the video but um, Chunky showed me that before we left because I didn't know how I was gonna you know manhandle the generator. I certainly can't deadlift it and put it in the truck. Um, even if it was totally empty of gas, I don't think, you know, I could lift it like I said, um, the way I did it, but 
when it comes time to change the oil, like Chunky had it up on the table, I might have to have somebody help me put it up on a table. I have to keep track of the hours too. I, I haven't been writing down the hours. I need to start doing that because I've been journaling. Um, and that way later on my kids, um, something ever happens to me, my kids can go back and look at the journal and, and you know, I made little notes and stuff for them. So since I can't share it with Chunky, yeah, I miss him. So yeah, I'm just kind of sitting here watching everybody go around. Stormy's back there looking sunny in the head. So it is now 121. Those tasks take a little bit longer. Like I said, because I had a hard time getting that cap off. And I, I might take a video to show you. But I'm tickled. I got it done. I'm all hooked up. Yay! But I'm going to hop off of here, relax a little bit, wait on her because I think she still has to dump and get water. So um, it's going to be a generator day for sure once we get down because it's already almost 1.30. And, and unless it's really sunny in Ehrenberg by the time we get there, which I highly doubt, um, yeah, I'll need to top things off with the with the generator but alrighty I'm gonna close for now thanks for hanging with me and uh, just thanks for coming along on the journey with me I miss my guys I miss my kids I love you Simon Kenton Dustin and Dakota talk to you soon say bye to everybody say bye